Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Olivia. It's been a while. I was very busy with other things, so YouTube was put a bit aside. But now I'm back and I'm doing this video talking about some points about my kids, how I deal with difficult situations with my kids. So first point is um, I realized that dealing with my kids when it's a difficult situation, I try to avoid negative words. So I don't talk, tell them no, I don't tell them don't. I try to be positive. So for example, instead of telling them don't jump, I tell them you're gonna hurt yourself. I'm telling them the consequence, what's gonna happen if they do it. Another thing is that I don't ask questions. I know what the answer is gonna be if I ask a question. Do you want to eat? No. Shall we go and have a bath? No. We're going to school. You want to go to school? No. They don't want to do anything. Of course, they want to be with mommy at home in their comfort zone. So I tried to start avoiding that question. So what I do is, come, we're going to school. They would still say no, but at least I'm not asking them. <laughs> so that's the difference. Another point is Sam doesn't understand, for example, and a lot of the kids as well, like him, he doesn't understand what's next on the list. So, once I was talking about this on Instagram and my cousin was very kind to prepare something for me that really helped him. So I used to tell him like, okay, today, Saturday, we have football, then after football, we come home and eat, and then we're going some picnic or with the bicycle. He wouldn't understand, he would want his tablet and he wouldn't know where that is gonna come in. So with these visuals, it really helped. I'm so surprised how much it helped, actually. Let me show you how I did them, how she did them, and how I'm doing them for. So this is it, Sam's activities. Today is Thursday. He went to school, he came home to eat, we went with the bicycle, he could stay on his tablet, we had dinner, we had a bath, and then he slept. So that is it. And funnily enough, after school, he said and tells me, Mommy, it's snack time. Okay, let's go and see what's wrong. Okay, what happened? What happened? Who bumped his head? With what? With yours? Okay, come and hug each other, come. Amy, did you hurt? Amy, did you hurt? Okay, Sam, give her a kiss and a hug, maybe it will help. Okay, mommy will give you a kiss and a hug as well. Okay, come. come. Okay, you've gone down. It's okay, it's okay. What's wrong? Give me the light. Give me the light. What are you doing with the light? Hey, let's go and see some. Pipi! Do you have Pipi? That's okay. Ah, okay. Let's go and change environment. Eh? You need to do, to do Pipi? What do I do when my kids want something at that instant? I learned a trick till now it's working they both got used to it like if I'm doing something and Sam comes up and tells me mommy no I want this I want this what I'm telling them is count down um, if I'm very busy I tell them count down from 20 and I say 20 19 18 17 and I do it slower so that they do it slower if I know that it's like two seconds it's gonna take me two seconds to help them out I start from 10 so 10, 9, 8, they keep counting, at that time it gives me a bit more time to finish off what I'm doing and normally that's the only time I would actually need. Now, um, when they, for example, Sam crosses the road without looking, he loves doing it, he doesn't care, he, sees, he looks back to see me running after him and he runs more. So when he does that, what I'm doing now is I show them videos of people doing something 
um, that I don't want them to do. For example, Amy, every morning when she woke up, she started telling me she wanted sweets. She became a sweets addict. Not like the others, the others, they don't even ask me for sweets. I always gave them like a biscuit or a piece of chocolate after dinner as a dessert. But Amy, as soon as she wakes up, she doesn't want her cereal, she wants sweets. So what I did was I showed her a documentary on what happens if you eat a lot of sugar. It was horrible. I know it was horrible even for myself. If you want to see what I showed her, Google it and that will come up. But it worked and now she tells me, oh, I can't eat sugar because my teeth become black because from the inside what happens. So she knows what goes on if she eats only sweets, only sugar. Yes, that's wor that worked. Mommy win. No water, okay. And to Sam I do the same thing, like crossing the road, I show him kids being hit by a car. I know I'm harsh, but he has to learn that that happens to him if he does it. Now since I have multiple kids, what I do is I never side with anyone when they fight. Ouch, that hurts. So if Sam and Amy come running to me, telling me what happened, I don't tell him, Sam, don't do that again. I wasn't looking. I don't know what happened. I won't tell her Amy don't do that again because I don't know what happened. So what I do is I tell them make up, hug each other, kiss each other, you're friends, he's your brother, you love him so much, see what was wrong. I mean they're not gonna say it was my fault, it was his fault. It's past so let's put it all behind and go on with our lives. No use blaming each other. It's a waste of time. Then I just tell them, whoever did whatever, don't do it again. Am I right, Amy? Say yes. Say yes. yes. And tell them, tell them, subscribe. No. Yeah. <laughs> Say bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. I hope it will be useful. <laughs>